unbalanced left, jet sweep out of our wing tee formation. Now this is a play I've ran for years on the youth football level. I've had a tremendous amount of success with it. Okay, unbalanced means there's more blockers to one side. So we're unbalanced left. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, five blockers to three on the right. And a lot of times, defenses and defensive coordinators, they do not even notice that we're tilted, which is another word for unbalanced, to one side. So we get really great blocking angles and outnumbering them at the point of attack. Now, the play starts off with our wing back in jet motion on the quarterback's first sound. Ball snapped, quarterback opens, hands the running back the ball in full stride. Now let's get into our blocking. We're going to start our split end. We're going to cheat his split in a little bit because we want him to crack the outside linebacker. If it's an even front, meaning there's four down linemen, which is an even number, he's going to crack an outside linebacker. If it's an odd man front, which means they're going to have five down linemen, which would be a 53, a 52, then we're going to crack the end because the end is going to be the edge defender. So again, split end is cracking the edge defender. And against the 44 defense, it's going to be the outside linebacker. We're going to crack him. Now, just like the blocking rules are the same, wing T blocking rules, down block is going to take first defender inside of him. Tight end takes him. Tackle takes him. Guard takes him. Nose, um, center, excuse me. Steps, cut off defensive pursuit. Steps, cut off defensive pursuit. Same goes for our backside tackle. Step, cut off the defense running to the ball on the backside. We do not even need to waste defenders, excuse me, linemen to block these defenders because our wing back is getting the ball in full stride here. There is no way these players are going to make the play. That's why the jet sweep works really well because you only have to block one, two, three players to get a large amount of yardage. Okay, our wing back, what we want him to do is we want to kick out of the corner. Take the corner wherever he wants to go. Fullback, what he's going to do, he's going to come down. He's going to fill this gap. Because a lot of times teams will start blitzing the A-gaps when they see me run a jet. So, and we also have a trap out of this, so we want a fake trap to hold some of these linebackers. Fullback fills, blocks. Now, the jet sweep, the ball carrier, needs to get up, cut outside of the split end, split end's crack, and inside of the wingback's kick out. So that you're going to have a tunnel. You're sealing in and kicking out, which will lead to easy running lane right up the field for a large amount of yards.